Washington is giving the world two options, but it's a choice with only one serious answer. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has told global financial institutions to decide whether they want to do business with the United States or North Korea. This is based on the executive order issued by President Trump. Park Jong Hong reports. The U.S. Treasury Secretary says no bank in any country should be used to facilitate Kim Jong Un's destructive behavior. Steven Mnuchin made the remarks to reporters while announcing a fresh set of U.S. sanctions against Pyongyang. In particular, he said global banks must make a crucial choice. Foreign financial institutions are now on notice that going forward, they can choose to do business with the United States or with North Korea, but not both. His comments are being seen as an ultimatum to those institutions that were not subject to the previous sanctions. The latest U.S. sanctions include asset freezes on individuals and the suspension of corresponding account access in the U.S. for banks who work with North Korea. The remarks are based on President Trump's executive order that grants the Treasury Department additional authority aimed at helping to cut off international trade and financing used by the regime. Our new executive order will cut off sources of revenue that fund North Korea's efforts to develop the deadliest weapons known to humankind. One of the gists of the order is banning vessels and aircraft that have visited North Korea or engaged in a ship-to-ship -ship transfer with a ship that has visited North Korea in the last six months from visiting the U.S. for 180 days. Meanwhile, in brief public remarks ahead of the trilateral summit with South Korea and Japan, President Trump heaped praise on Chinese President Xi Jinping. He said President Xi had ordered Chinese banks to cease conducting business with North Korean entities, saying the move was, quote, very bold and somewhat unexpected. U.S. officials acknowledged that, like other sanctions, the fresh batch of measures may not deter North Korea, but is aimed at slowing the country down. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.